DC to AC power inverters. You got your power switch and your AC outlet here. And of course your 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, plug to plug it into your cigarette lighter to get your 110 volt AC. This particular unit is 150 watts continuous 200 watt surge. But what you really may not know is these things do not put out a sine wave. As I will show you on my little 2 inch oscilloscope here, this is one I usually leave at home and I don't keep this up in the workshop so that I can check things um, in the event I like to check the output of uh, generators and so forth and they also don't put out a clean sine wave. But these inverters, well these things here put out what we call a modified sine wave and I'm going to show you that on a scope right now. Okay, this is the waveform that I'm showing. I have the scope free running right now, but I can't get any closer than this because the camera won't manual focus any closer than this. But anyways, this is the readings that you get on the output of uh, these inverters. And uh, they are more of a square wave. I can't get the, uh, the vertical rise to show on this scope. I've got the intensity all the way up but I can't get the vertical rise to show but that is a square wave that you are looking at right there. Yeah I got the, I'm holding the camera now and um, I'm able to uh, take it off zoom and I can get a better picture of it but that's what that's the output of uh, these little inverters here and we've got it hooked up here with the clip leads through my 10x probe. This is an NSL uh, mini scope. So um, this is the idea. If you're going to use these things for um, laptop computers, I don't know. They may be okay. I wouldn't really try it. I'd go in for a DC to DC converter. A lot of your laptop computers take 19 volts DC and uh, I know you can get uh, 12 volts to 19 volts DC to DC converters and you're probably safer with that rather than to use this on a laptop although your laptop goes to a filter anyways but you gotta remember it is gonna have spikes and so forth in there because this is a, a square wave it's a mo what they call a modified sine wave but it re in reality it is a square wave